Okay, this is the first video for the new channel. Um, it's cut out for artists that want to get their sketchbook sketches into a game platform. Um, if you know a little GDevelop5, that's great. It's going to just show the basics of importing uh, graphics to sprites. Okay, so if you've never done any game programming, uh, GDevelop5 is free. If you want to download it and install it, it's great for Mac or PC, and it's super intuitive, and uh, you can start doing no programming at all. But this is the basics how to get your sketches into the game and actually move them around a little bit. Everything I'm going to show you was just sketches from my sketchbook shot by my phone. Okay, so this is the opening screen for GDevelop5. I just uh, opened it up and saved it a blank game. So if you click this little button up here, this is your scene area. We're going to create a new scene and just leave it as new scene. Okay, so I'm here on a new screen, our new scene. I assume you have a folder with your scan images kind of cropped or whatever. Um, so we want to add a new object. And all images in games are called sprites at the basic level. And let's we'll leave it as whatever. And um, adding a new animation, animations can be single frame in, um, images or they can be sequences for walking so we're going to add a couple of them here so add a new animation our first one we're going to add is this guy we're going to add another one down below and it'll be this guy and a third one and this last one is going to be a sequence so i have a sequence of walking that I actually have hand drawn so I'll plop in in also now this number is important this is what we're going to reference programmatically what, zero one and two how we actually flip these things and let's do apply and all of those graphics are contained within this one object let's we'll just grab this thing and plop it on the screen we don't need it that big just click it and we can shrink it up okay Control minus, just like if you know Photoshop, control minus shrinks your entire stage. And now we're going to add some events. Pretty much everything we have in here is contained within this one thing called the sprite. Now, if you're interested in programmatically, we want to save, we want to roll over with a mouse and flip that. We remember if we go back to this object, it's numbered zero. The next layer is one, and the animation is two. Okay. So if we, let's do it with, uh, make some triggers here. Um, we'll just have a text thing. If we touch it with the mouse, we'll say this is the uh, guy one. Guy show guy one. Apply. Ooh, that's super teeny. And then we can actually just duplicate it, but we'll do that also. We won't duplicate it. I think we'll make that 60. And guy two. And our last, last one is going to be another text thing. And we're going to call this walk. Okay. And again, for now, you can ignore the programming part, but this is, we're just doing this to show that you can act how to uh, control these images. Okay. So again, we have these text things. We've got this one object called new object with has three different layers. So just for kicks, we're going to go ahead and go to our scene events. Okay, now we have an empty scene and we're going to make a condition to do something on that graphic. So our condition is if we act upon any of these objects on the screen, particularly the very first one, well, we don't need it right now because the default state is this guy but we'll do it anyway and if we just type in mouse if 
cursor is touching that text field. What are we, that's condition, what are we gonna do? We're gonna change the animation of this object. Scroll down here to change animation. And we're gonna do something. We're gonna numerically set it to zero. It's already zero, so nothing's gonna really happen. And we're going to do another event. And if we're going to roll over the second text one, and wherever the mouse thing was, if the mouse touches it, what are we going to do? We're going to change this guy again, except we're going to set his animation to one. And lastly, we're going to trick it a third time. We're going to touch this third text box. Mouse. And we are going to do that change animation thing again of this object. We're going to take the text object and then we're going to set it to two. And now we're going to press the play button. Roll over two, flips to that guy. Roll over this one, flips this guy. And then our last one's going to play that sequence. We'll do one more fun thing and then we'll cut it off here. Um, if we roll over the walk button, we actually want him to walk. So we'll go back to our same thing here. And then we're going to add a new action. If we roll over the walk text field, we're going to change our animation to two. We're going to add, we're going to act upon this new object. And we are going to change its X position. X goes horizontally. And we are going to subtract a number from its ex current X position, so four. So now, this guy, this guy, and then walk. This guy, this guy, and then walk. Okay, hope that gets you started, and we'll have more. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, relax. All right, we'll get into more complex later. No more complex stuff later, okay? Thanks, bye.